A South Florida mother out of jail, and we are learning new details in the brutal beating of her three-year-old son. 7's Olivia DeVenti is live at the Sunny Isles Beach Police Department with the latest. Olivia. Well, no matter how many times you watch this video, the sadness and anger is truly just overwhelming. Now, this mother is out of jail tonight, but it is what she is accused of doing to her three year old son because she says he wasn't listening. That has police calling her a monster. The mother police are calling a monster making her way out of jail. Seven news cameras rolling as Yulia Storozok pleads for forgiveness from her three year old son. But the disturbing video can't be forgotten. The 29 year old mother accused of throwing, kicking and pushing her own baby boy. The abuse captured on a neighbor's blink doorbell camera, taking the footage right to police. The little boy seen here with a dark shirt on. Storozok picking him up and throwing him to the ground, kicking and pushing him down the hallway out of sight. He's also seen here in a red shirt, pushed to the ground. According to the arrest report, Storozok was captured on camera twice that night, hurting her son, once at 9.06, then again at 9.44. Police fear that's not all. Do you think that she's hurt him before? There's a good possibility. And again, um, our investigation is still ongoing, and we're going to uncover if there's any injuries or any, any abuse in the past. During bond court Wednesday, through an interpreter, Storozok says it happened only once. Only one incident where I uh, let my emotions took, took better of me and I <clears throat> never abused my child. It happened only once. The incident report revealing Storozok contacted police the night of the alleged abuse, requesting assistance since she was suffering from financial stress and a nervous breakdown, not disclosing what happened earlier in the night, only wishing that police take custody of her son because she no longer could care for him. Sunny Isles Beach Mayor commending police for their swift action, saying in part, their media attention may have saved the life of a small child. May we all remember that it is important that if you see something, say something. The defenseless boy now safe and police determined to keep him that way. She's going to pay the consequences for her actions. Uh, this is not, this is unacceptable. And we did speak with the police department earlier this afternoon. They tell us that their phones have been ringing off the hook with people wanting to foster and even adopt this little boy. I can tell you tonight that he is safe in DCF custody. As for his mother, her next court appearance will be later this month, the 27th, and we'll be there. Reporting live in Sunny Isles Beach, Olivia DeVenti, 7 News.